Every extreme event provides an opportunity to learn more about our environment. And in this particular case, uh, we have an extreme event that is closely related to both droughts and floods. El Nino refers to above average sea surface temperatures in the equatorial Pacific. And typically, a very strong El Nino leads to above average rainfall in Southern California and below average rainfall in higher latitudes like British Columbia and Washington. In Northern California, it's a little bit hard to predict because this relationship between rainfall and El Nino is a bit weaker. Flooding is a big concern if we get a lot of rain over a very short period of time, and that can affect uh, residential buildings, roads, transportation, and um, other infrastructure. We have had a four-year drought, and we believe a long-term drought can weaken our earthen infrastructure, like levees or dams. A dry soil cracks, and the last thing you want is water into cracks. Uh, levees can potentially fail if water can get through those sort of cracks. Our group is working on a hybrid model that combines dynamic model simulations and statistical model simulations for improving drought prediction in California. And the idea is to take advantages of both types of modeling and improve predictability of rainfall in Southern California. I believe UC Irvine is well poised to study climate extremes. We have faculty looking into different aspects of extremes from engineering perspective, social response and social ecology, earth system science and climate physics.